Hello folks and welcome back to By Spring. And as you see from that top right corner of the screen, we have spent a lot of our money. That's because in between the episodes we have been a little bit busy making some purchases and that and just got ahead of a few things that we needed to do. So start off with we've bought some more TMR and more straw. So if we go into the silo area over here. I see at the bottom right we've got 2 million litres of TMR and 2 million litres of straw. So straw, that was all bought outright with uh, bells, we transported them over, took a little bit of time. And similar with the TMR we had like 624,000 so we bought about 140,000 litres worth of TMR. So that's all been transferred and put into storage. And yeah, that took a while. But, that's not our biggest expense. As you can probably tell by the thumbnail, we've got all brand new equipment for the farming act, and we need somewhere to store all this. So, we're going to be looking at some purchase of sheds and that as well today. So, I think first of all, we'll fill this up with straw. So yeah, I'm thinking, let's put some sheds over here. Like, this is going to be our big field, one of our mega fields. But I want to possibly put a shed down. Well, we'll be putting a shed down, but which one? I'm thinking, some from the base spring or the English barn pack by the Nancy Boy, so. Vehicle barn. That'd be a good one. Pretty significant in size. I think something like that. Downside, we're going to have to use access unless we get rid of the hedge over here to the left. I think we'll do that, so... Actually... So it costs us 90 grand. So I'll get a rough placement idea, so it's going to be about there. Next one to go to landscaping. Paint. I would do this now, rather than later on, so... No, not that one. That's the one we want, so... You can go in up here. And then across. So yeah, something like that. And then if we just go gently brush up. And yeah, I think this will be very good. So yeah, we'll get rid of these hedges, we'll get rid of the tree. Actually, I'll probably keep the tree because I wouldn't have some form of barrier to our residency. So we need to move that war pump area, so we'll get that clear as well. There we go. So there we go. Yeah, I think that would look pretty nice, so... Pop into here, we'll get this moved as well. Because, yeah, with the 500 grand got left over, what I'm going to do is also just rejuvenate and revitalize the farm. That's sort of been the goal of this area is to. This was a failed dairy farm, and we've took it over, and we've just completely changed it. So, I think, yeah, that'll be good. Just something, transform it. And that'd be a good way for us to conclude the series, because I'm not sure how many episodes we've got left on it. Probably within the next part of 10 episodes left, I think, we've got on this series. Maybe more, maybe less. Because, yeah, obviously, as mentioned in the last episode, we got a lot of work to do. We've got to convert this into a mega field, and convert this into a mega field. That's going to be a lot of trees cut down, and 
chips on February. Wood chips are at its peak price still. So let's do it in this episode, or at least the start of it. Start with the trees. Yeah, keep that. Actually, also landscaping. We'll make it flush to here, so. There we go, something like that. Bingo. Actually, let's make it a slight extension, so something like that. Dang it, didn't want to be that far over, but fine, do that. I'll make it look perfect. Then something like that. There we go. Yeah, that's it. There we go. And yeah, we'll put some trees over here by the house, actually. I do that now, so it goes to trees. Well, what ones do we want? Spruce pine? Ah, that's a problem. Too many trees. Oh, I guess that, but well, we can always plant trees. Well, I hope. That's going to be planned. Well, there's also plant a forest down, but if that's too many trees, then. But yeah, I can sort of see just. Yeah, there's plenty of trees about. I didn't think it was going to be that many trees, like hitting the tree limit. Of what is it, so many thousand trees a map is allowed. Oh well, let's change our plans there. So go into site. Not. Yeah, it's sheds, not silos. I'll go down here to the English barn pack. Yeah, this is not the most expensive, that's the most expensive one. Unless we do put. I don't know, maybe. We do put it here or something like that. Because. That's got good access. Also, I know that's got a workshop area. We've got a bit there to the left, which you can't really see. Can you store like pallets or whatever? I'm thinking maybe something like that. Turn snapping on. Yeah, I think it's something like that. So, so this can't place over an object. Don't know what that object is, but. Yeah, that is pretty nice. Actually, I do like that. Ooh. Okay, that's the workshop. That's not too big of an issue in terms of access because we do have a workshop already in the toolbox. Oh, let's do we want to shift it down. I don't know what heck it. Let's do it. Dang it, that's 70 grand wasted, but. I think the amount of which is going to be set in. Yeah, that's not a, that's like first world problems. See, so yeah, grab that again. Let's be pulling an angle, perhaps something like that. So yeah, something like that. How's that look? Not too bad, a bit better. Okay, a bit over small, a bit of landscaping he's doing, but overall not too bad, so leave it to me. Whilst it gets decorated. And then we'll start looking at some of the new equipment we bought in more detail. And there we go, so yeah, not too bad. Only small little tweaks, just put a nice little stone wall in. That goes right up to here. Got some lights down that goes into the yard, so yeah, get a better visuals. Left a bit of space around here, and yeah, it's quite close to the field, but yeah, it shouldn't be too much of an issue. So 
Anyways, let's go actually have a proper look at this. So, obviously this is a workshop area. Significant in size, will fit the combine in here, no problem whatsoever. And then we should open these two other bays. Yeah, look at that, some extra storage in there. And things like the tractors and that, they can go here. Ooh, okay, a little blemish here. Let's get that corrected. Yeah, apart from a little thing, that actually looks all pretty well, so... Let's go and grab cobblestone. Or concrete, whatever. There we go. How's that looking now? Not too bad. Looking rather dapper. And she could be the fat gap, because otherwise we wouldn't have these extra spaces for the pipes and the wooden beams, the toolbox, bucket, and a... Oh, it's one of those things I use with wood and that. Not good with my woodcraft tool knowledge, but... So yeah, things like I'm thinking. The new tractor, some can go here. You can put a lot of the implements in here. And even, heck, you even put the combine there. Just have a bit of better space. This could be just... Again, access to the workshop and that. If needed. Actually, you know what? Let's get rid of that. Yeah, because we can just use this as a workshop now. So, yeah, there we go. Straight in. No problems whatsoever. Clear roof clearance. And I'm also pretty sure this is a heated workshop as well, so we can keep all of our stuff nice and warm where we need to. And this could be just go back to just a normal shed, so we'll get rid of the jack. Nope. No, not the toolbox. That. There we go, got rid of the lift. Go oh, birds. Shoot. But yeah, now let's go and look at our brand new equipment. And there we go, so we've got a fleet of five brand new tractors. One you may recognize. We'll start from right to left. So this is the John Deere 7R350. Did have one, but you know what? A full heck it. Got the money, let's treat ourselves. So, what I'd done was repaired it, repaint it, sold it, and got the brand new current model. So, this is a Gen 2. Along with that, we bought the Devour, so we get our wood chips, and a trailer just for the wood chips only. Won't be using this for grain or anything. I have to stick to that part. Next, on Team Blue, we've got the new Hall T8.435 Genesis, and attached to the black, black back, we've got the Kinsey 4905S Blue Drive Planter, so this will be very useful for, for when we do planting, which could we do this year. Next, we got Team Orange, we've got the Kubota M8201. And attached to that, we've got the multi roller with the motor attachion. Atta attachment, not attachion. But yeah, I cannot speak today. Second to last, we've got the Massey Ferguson AS Dyna VT. And this is one of the special edition ones. Yeah, the limited edition one for a bit of extra money. Treat ourselves. Similar before, got the multi roller. Well, this is just the field roller. And then lastly, to get these mega fields all done, we need to plow them all up. So what I've gone done is bought the John Deere 9630RT tract. And attached to that is the John Deere 2410 plow. A good old favourite of mine. Finally return on an actual Let's Play series, so... These are going to be our boys. These are the tools we're going to use to create the mega fields. 
So yeah, plan for the mega fields. Get rid of the trees, get rid of the hedgerows. Got all of this to do. Like, ooh. That's going to be a lot of work, so. I think to start off with, we'll start off on the trees. We'll cut a hedgerow here and there where we need to gain access. But yeah, this is going to be a lot of work. Obviously, we have spoken to the owner of this house and they are happy with us what we're going to be doing. They are aware of over the next few months there's going to be some intense work going on. So things like we can get rid of this track. Because it's really just a pass through access to the fields here. It's not a major roadway, so we can remove that. For me, nah, we'll keep the farm track so we want this bit here as well. So, yeah, that's going to be the field all the way over here. Loop around. Yeah, there's walls and fences we need to remove. We'll pay someone to get that removed. And just, yeah. This is going to be a lot of work, so obviously some fields are already done, but a lot of these are grass fields, and we will be plowing everything up, so might as well bite the bullet and get a crack on it. So first of all, let's start off with the John Deere, the brand new one. As we head over here. So, let's go into our new fields, get rid of these cobblestones. There we go. Boom, boom, boom. Excuse me, pedestrians. I have got work to do. I am really busy, so I cannot wait around, so... Oh. Yeah, I think it's just all on to me. How big a task. Literally, well, this, yeah. <laughs> yeah, from the drone like, building mode point of view, looks right, but literally got all of this like up to down there to work. So, so I actually see how far that's where the mega field's going to extend to. Ooh. Yeah, a bit intense it's going to be, but the only way to do this is via a time lapse. Hopefully we don't have too many disasters with these trees. Or we hope not. There we go. Let's put a thousand leaves down. And we've got still a bit more to do. So yeah, what I'm going to do is get us all done. And I'll see you folks later on when we've done most of this. We get it all done, we like the field, but... I have absolutely no idea whatsoever to do this.
And there we go, man. Ah, oh, you stupid car driver. Go on, move out of the way. You can really wait. As I was saying before, it's rudely interrupted by the red car. We are done. And boy, this has made a huge difference on how the field looks. And yet, there are like one or two of these still about. But for some reason, I cannot remove the hedges. Like, gone over multiple times the chainsaw with everything. And just, yeah. There's no option to remove. So, yeah. I don't know what's going on here. Dang it. Nope. Absolute nothing. Bugger. Oh, well, at least we got most of it. Some sums here and there. Why not I worry about those? I'm not sure. So, yeah. Got that over there. Now, pretty much that's the main worst one. I think there's one or two other little ones around. What is I'm mistaken? No. Oh, yeah. I've got trees somewhere. Not that one. I was just phasing in and out. But there is one tree somewhere. A stump. But yeah, there is a tree somewhere amongst all this where I couldn't devour, so. Oh well. We may as well put the tracks back because we're going to use this for when we go and do the next mega field over here where we get rid of these trees. Because remember, the plan is one mega field, two, three, and then four. And yeah, we're not doing any more grass work because we're just going to be buying. All of our TMR, TMR bells in, just buy everything in, get it all imported. And I think, let's put it over here. Actually, it does need a little good wash. Absolutely filthy. Yes, we are decent this. But I don't mind paying the fees, because, yeah, back up to 1.4 mil. Got about a million there from those wood chips. Yeah, I could have got more, but it was just so fizzy it was with just spazzing trees and all that. Babies, now let's go and grab the John Deere and start planting some of these fields up. Well, when I say plow the fields up, merge them together. Because for the most part, I have clearly designated where everything is. Is that? I just gotta be careful with this. Cause the first side of me using this. Ooh. There we go. There we go. Over that. But in anyway, so yeah, we've got some field work to do. Pretty much just like plow straight down around where we've got it painted. That's where we're plowing. Obviously we didn't do everything, like this section here, we didn't paint. And a bit over here, but yeah, so these are the bits I would need ploughing. And this roughly maps up to what the field is over here. With 84... Ooh. What's with that? Apparently, decent part of that needs ploughing. But yeah, we'll just go around and start plowing the perimeter. So I won't do too much plowing because it's going to affect our tillage and that. With the whole environmental score. And maybe a huge plow like this is a mistake. Yeah, possibly. Oh well, let's we'll give it a go anyways. Or do we say just heck it and actually 
put a, a smaller one on because what size is this? I think it's what, 12 meters? If we have a look at our plows, 16 meters, so really that one, a 9 meter, would do fine. Is there a speed difference in those two? 10, 9 miles an hour, that is it faster, so I think, yeah, because this the damage our them score way too much, so yeah. But it was still a good one to have, we'll still keep this. Just for when we do our bigger fields, if it ever needs part of the future. But yeah. Obviously that's if we plan in the future. Obviously I said earlier. Don't know how long this series is gonna go for, on for. Obviously I know there's an update being sent off to Giants and that does require a new game save. And no, I am not gonna have a new game save. It's yeah, it's it's annoying off where just because of we put so much work into this map. Been out for a while and now it's get a game saving up new game save requirement update. Okay, alright, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna to adjust this back a bit. Just get it removed. Just get a bit of extra width in. But yeah, I said we can use this area over here as our like our infant storage. Just something like this. I'll see that as I'm trying to get it in. There we go. Squeeze. Okay, will it fit through those doors? Will it fit through here if we do it this? Again, flickering textures on the mirrors, lovely. Yeah, I think those will fit in, right? Come on. We'll worry about putting in proper storage later on. But for now, we're going to need the plow, so. There we go. Pop you down there. And let's find our other plow, so. Fat I guess somewhere over here. Nope. Oh, this is why I need to properly store our equipment because it's all over the place. Nope, not over there. Not by the house. Where's that damn plow to? I haven't left it somewhere else, have I? Nope. Not a clue. Ah, there. Ah, yeah, I remember it look properly. I shoved it all the way back in, didn't I? There it is, right in the darkness, so... Fair enough. I do love the tracks on this. It's nimble, it's agile, just go squeeze your way in into any gap or whatsoever. There we go, bit of a squeeze through. Anyways, as before, we'll get us done and I'll see you folks in a few moments.
there we go. That is powered more or less done. So that's a little bit of notice, but yes, yeah, so if you have a look, be flicking back and through this during the time lapse, try to get everything. And of course, we'll be able to get everything, all the fields and that. Unless we plow everything, I mean, like literally everything down to the team. But again, that's going to affect our environment score, and yeah, I do not want to do that. So hopefully, it doesn't affect it too much. Oh, I've seen that. Yeah, seen that in hope. But yeah, still real big clumps and that about, just little bits on the edges and that. So, you know what? I am happy with this, so. Now, I'll just raise it up. We will put this over here. And how do we get into this area over here again? Is there a gate down here? There's a lane that goes up. So, yeah, there we go. Go that way. So, yeah, I think next what we'll do. Perhaps do it in the next episode off camera. Is get all of this done. So if we go over here and just evaluate. I will try mulching these trees and get some extra income coming in. But worst case scenario, if it doesn't work, if you have like the glitchy trees and all that again, then you know what? I am happy with that. I'm just happy to just leave them. And just use the track. So there is canola in here growing. If we look at the plowing, yep. So pretty much around the entire edge of the field needs plowing. So, uh, we'll, yeah, of course we're going to the forest here. And she do we want to cut these trees here down? Uh, no, not really. I don't think so, so and I have to remove this as well. See, so yeah, I think we'll leave these trees here though. But the ones over there, we will go and chop down. So let's just go and grab this sec and we'll take it over. There we go, so hop over here. Just find where to cut these hedges. There we go. It's quite a bit of an opening for us. There we go. But yeah, so how difficult are these trees going to be to get rid of? Not too bad. That's gone all glitchy on me yet. And again, just have to do this, go down, get rid of stumps. And shoot the awkward angles. So, maybe. Nope. So, yeah, that's why I'm just tempted just to, you know what? Okay. We'll just uh, use the tracks on these trees. Try chopping down in the cut wood because I'm up here. So we're going to have to use the sub grinder. Without smashing our own equipment, please. If you do that, so avoid doing that, then that'd be much appreciated. But I'll oh, try this, go over it like that. Side, but yeah, just yeah, absolutely nothing. Yeah, we we'll get some of the chips, but is it worth it? So I have to deal with all this all the time. No, not really. Let's try a different tree. Let's try this one here to our left. So a spruce one. There we go, so trees like that are good to do. So to remember, spruce is good, oaks are a pain in the ass. 
that's why my tenant groceries tend to go with like the spruce ones are easier to deal with. Oaks and American Elm and all that. We'll get you more. I think that's where we're going to leave it today, so next time or in between episodes, I may just whack it or get it all done in between next episode. I'll get rid of all these trees. Ow. <laughs> just, yeah, that's a lot of trees to cut down. So already we've cut down 13 trees. That's just the ones we've done in that little field over there. Does that include the tracks? I'm not sure. But yeah, as long as we keep on doing like this, then yeah. We will get wood chips and we'll get a lot of money for it. Yeah, they're like half the size compared to the oak trees. But they are ten times less of anything they have to deal with. Alright, looking at that one. That side's to chop down. Well, if, if they all do that, then heck, it'll be that thin. But yeah, so, as I said, this is where I leave today. As always, hope you enjoyed the episode. If so, smash that button. Feel free to comment down below. If you want to share us, then please be my guest. If you're not subscribed to the channel yet, then please consider. But, for you to do, hope you have a nice day. But for now, it's me Farmer Envoy Extreme. And I'll see you all very soon.